Then, of course, DevSecOps. In the healthcare space, your security training really needs to extensively focus on supply chain security, which is a huge concern in the healthcare space, simply because the third-party software that you use, the libraries that you use, the kind of supply chain elements you're bringing into your code base become a huge potential liability for your security program. If your application can be compromised through a simple library getting compromised, then you run the risk of massive penalties and even huger reputation issues and financial issues and so on. So this is something that you have to consider when you're dealing with healthcare stuff, especially supply chain security. Secrets management, again, is a problem. Now, healthcare tech, sorry, in the healthcare IT space, you are integrating with several systems. Now you have systems or applications that you're developing that integrate with several systems and secrets management becomes a very important thing. So recently we were running a pen test against a very large healthcare application. It's an online application that's used by several healthcare providers. And what happened was we compromised their application using SSRF on AWS. And through that, we were able to gain access to their AWS secret store. And we were able to decrypt one set of secrets. And we realized that that was the secret store for all their apps across all their namespaces, across all environments. So they've not done any kind of logical access control over their secrets, which means that all apps could access all secrets at once which was a huge problem. So this sort of stuff, right, can have a massive downstream impact on your organization because one application that was doing something not so critical suddenly now became a channel to exploit an extremely critical resource, which is the secrets of the entire application stack that they had across all applications across all environments. So this was a huge thing that we saw. And again, secrets not only extend here, but even into CICD, seen issues constantly crop up on that side of the fence. So DevSecOps, supply chain security, secrets management, all of this stuff is very important for you train your people on simply because if they understand this well, they will not make the same mistakes again and again. You want to nip it at the butt. See, with training, what you're really doing is you're nipping bad behavior at the butt rather than trying to always catch it later on. You are trying to nip bad behavior at the bud and instead of trying to constantly implement a ton of tooling to catch it later on. If you can really do a good job of the training, your catching later on gets to be a much lower number. It actually becomes much easier to catch things or catch fewer things later on in the cycle.